In the federal by-election held in Ontario's Durham riding, Jamil Jivani, a lawyer and a political commentator running for the Conservatives, emerged victorious, succeeding from former Conservative leader Erin O'Toole. Jivani's win underscores a significant political shift in the region. Having previously served as president of the Canada Strong and Free Network, formerly known as the Manning Centre, Jivani brings a wealth of experience in political advocacy and think tank leadership to his new role. His extensive background include contribution to the publications like the National Post and the Toronto Sun, reflecting a commitment to the public discourse and policy analysis. Addressing supporters at a restaurant in Clarington, Giovanni emphasized the message sent to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau asserting Durham's preference for conservative leadership under Pierre Olivier. With the commanding lead of 4,194 votes over Liberal candidate Robert Rock, Giovanni secured 7,102 votes, a resounding victory indicative of riding conservative learnings. The by-elections prompted by two lead retirements from politics provided an opportunity for constituents to voice their aspirations for representation and governance. Giovanni's personal journey, marked by resilience and community engagement, resonated with the voters seeking authentic leadership. A cancer survivor with a commitment to the youth empowerment, Giovanni's candidacy symbolizes hope and renewal for Durham residents. Despite facing challenges and controversies, including a legal dispute with a media company, Giovanni's unwavering dedication to public service prevailed. The by-election outcomes reflect border political dynamics, with public polling indicating a substantial leader for Pierre Polivia, Conservatives over the governing Liberals. In Durham, a long-standing conservative stronghold, concerns over affordability and housing underscored the electorate priorities. As voters cast their ballots, their voice echoed a desire for change and accountability, shaping the landscape for the future electoral contests. Giovanni's victory heralds a new chapter in Durham political landscape, with implications of the upcoming federal elections and the region's representation in the House of the Commons.